we have seen everything in Wireshark also. And now let's try to understand the problem of slow receiver. I think most of the things which we we have covered while we were we were discussing uh, the buffer, right? So you know, uh, you all know now that suppose I have a sender which is Anjali, and we have a receiver which is Rahul. Uh, we have this application here, uh, and we are talking about that from application we are getting a continuous stream of data, right? Which we are storing and uh, this this bucket this buffer is provided us by the operating system so it depends on whether you are a linux box you are a windows operating system everybody can have different implementation of tcp because this is up to them how much they want to give this buffer to right so 150 uh, suppose this operating system has given this buffer information as 150 bytes can be stored here Right. Similarly, on the receiving side, uh, the buffer allocated is 70 bytes. Okay, so it is going to be a problem when and uh, and I'm 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 presuming uh, right now, I'm presuming right now that uh, whatever the buffer is allocated to us, I am I can able to send all the things. And suppose if this guy is filled with all these 150 bytes of information and can send this 150 bytes of information of course in the forms of in the form of segment and this guy's application is pretty slow it is not pulling out information so after 70 bytes this information is going to be dropped at the transport layer of the receiver which is a problem right this is a problem so this means there must be some mechanism guys any question if you have any question then i would say just uh, please ask them at the end of the session okay uh, till then just please unmute yourself so if you see here if you see right now here if the application is slower in receiving the 70 byte of information from the transport layer this bucket is going to be filled pretty soon right so whenever this bucket is filled there must be mechanism so that this slow receiver can inform the application sorry the transport layer of the sender that do not send me data more than 70 bytes it would be great if it can provide this information at the beginning of the communication right for example, whenever the SYN packet is sent by Anjali to Rahul, Rahul is going to say, I am slow Anjali, right? I cannot process more than 70 bytes of information, right? Then Anjali know in advance, because suppose his uh, uh, computer, his uh, mobile is pretty new, it can give 150 bytes to store that information. But Anjali now know that out of this 150 byte of information, she can only send 70 byte because receiver is sending, telling me, receiver is guiding me, do not send me more than 70 bytes of information. So can I presume here, the receiver is also, receiver is always going to say to the uh, sender how much data it is going to want, uh, it is going to need. Right, so it is the responsibility of receiver to guide sender how much data it is going to receive. Right, so who is controlling the flow? The flow is controlled by the receiver. Right, so if I am talking about data which is going on from Anjali to Rahul from this way, right, Rahul is going to manage or maintain that flow. The flow control is going to be responsibility of Rahul's bucket, right? He needs to tell at each and every point of time that Anjali, now my bucket size is this one. Now my, I can process this one, right? Similarly, if there is a stream from the server to the client, it is going to be Anjali's responsibility to take care of that flow, to control that flow right anjali is going to say so 
it can be uh, as you know the direction of the traffic can be can be from the client to server and the server to client and that is why we are having flow control mechanism at the both end because anybody can be slow or fast right so having said that this was the problem of slow receiver how we are going to resolve it we are going to take an example from uh, uh, from tcp how it has resolved this problem so let's move to our next board which is concept of window right this is the thing where people uh, freaks out people freak out and uh, they, they make mistake and believe me this is not difficult at all as a concept right if you understand that what is going on so if you see from the tra uh, from the anjali perspective uh, which is uh, who is who is sending the data to rahul who is somewhere here rahul, right the data can be in any of this form if i say form what is the meaning of it right so anjali's transport layer is receiving data from the application it is storing that data into the application suppose suppose uh, during a communication it has sent somewhat 70 byte of information right out of that 70 byte of information from the receiver side receiver has acknowledged that 20 byte it has received so now there are few things which you can understand from this 70 bytes had been sent 20 byte have been uh, uh, acknowledged by the receiver so if i say this bucket what exactly this bucket has right this bucket has that packet that are sent and acknowledged right suppose that are here till this level then there are some packets which are sent but not acknowledged it means that those are 50 byte of that information right that has been sent but is not acknowledged then there are packets that cannot be sent and why this uh, that can be sent so for, for example the receiver is saying you can send me 100 byte of information but the sender is sending only 70 byte of information so 30 byte of information can also be sent so it is there right here and there are some packets that cannot be sent because here we have 150 byte of information but the receiver is saying i can receive only 100 byte of information so if you understand these four categories you will be good right i am again repeating it once again anjali's bucket is receiving data from the application right that data can be fit into the four categories only right and i'm presuming here that the anjali's bucket size is 150 byte and the rahul bucket size is 100 byte right so there are some packets that uh, that are sent and not acknowledged and we call them outstanding packets also why they are outstanding because they are on transit server hasn't acknowledged them they are somewhere right there are some packets that have been sent and acknowledged also right and that is what example i am i was giving that out of these 70 packets 20 have been acknowledged so these 20 bytes of information is acknowledged but remaining 50 byte of information is not acknowledged right but i can send 80 uh, but i can send 80 more sorry the packet that cannot be sent uh, 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 that can be sent 20 byte of information i have already sent and acknowledged 50 is here right and then packets that can be sent what are those packets right if this guy can receive only 100 byte of information i have sent 50 plus 20 so 30 are the more uh, uh, bytes of information i can send right the packet that i cannot send because the receiver is 100 byte only and that is why i cannot send those 50 bytes which are right here flowing here right just try to understand the concept just try to uh, think that there are four uh, such things are right but now the point is whenever this application sends some data this anjali's tcp 
is going to put all those that into a buffer previously i was showing that buffer with the bucket now i am showing that buffer with the rectangle with some compartments here right here are these compartments right so there are some packets that can uh, that are sent and acknowledged suppose these packets are here sent and acknowledged there are some packets that are sent and that are not acknowledged. Suppose this is here. There are some packets that can be sent. Suppose these are here. There are some packets that cannot be sent because the receiver is not able to receive them. And that's, that are here. So actually, this thing from here to here. Right? Because these packets have been acknowledged, so this means that this can be Purged. Purged means this can be go out from the memory. Right? So whatever we are seeing from here to here, it is going to be my window. Right? From here to here. Where I have packet that I have sent and, uh, sent and not acknowledged. And that packet that I can send based on the receiver. So who is guiding this? So suppose this is 100 byte. The total buffer length which was allocated by the operating system to me was one, 150 byte of information that I can store. But receiver told me you cannot send me more than 100 byte. So receiver is guiding me. So out of this 150 byte, I can only send 110 byte of information. And that is what I call my send window. I cannot send more than that because the receiver is informing me again and again. Right? If I cannot accept more than 100 byte, receiver is uh, again and again saying me I cannot accept 100, 100 byte. It means receiver is guiding me that you cannot have more than 100 byte of information towards me. And that is what I called send window. Right? So there was a total.